Hey, Chris, welcome back to Vegas. How are you feeling? Thank you. It feels good to be back. Does it feel different being a main event? Mm, just giving a little bit more media. <laughs> you know, other than that, and, uh, you know, the reality that it's two more rounds, it's all the same. How different was your training camp, if at all, for that? You know, uh, yes and no, a little bit different, not, not too much. Um, you know, we've always been training for five-round fights. You know, that's what our strength coaches and everything, you know, we're all striving for the five-round fights. So, in, in essence, I was almost, like, getting ready for that no matter what. So, it just highlighted it more. You know, the card was originally supposed to be in China. Now it's here in Vegas. Is there a little bit of relief that you're kind of on your own home turf this time? <sighs> Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it would have been a beautiful experience to experience the Chinese culture, you know, in person. Uh, you know, th that would have been a, a, a nice experience. But, um, you know, given the fact that it wasn't, we weren't able to do it, and it's here, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not going to get mad over that 15-hour plane trip that we don't have to do. And you probably have to pay less taxes, I would imagine, too, right? Correct, yeah. They're like 30 40% in taxes. <laughs> not good. Um, what do you think of the matchup? I think it's a good matchup. You know, it's a, it's a tough task at, at both ends. But, um, you know, I'm well prepared. I have a good team behind me, a good support system. And uh, I believe I have the tools to win. And right now you're the underdog. Does that give you a little bit more pressure or does that give you a little bit mo of more motivation? I've been the underdog my whole life in everything I've done. It's no different. It's... And how do you spend the end of the year? after this fight. How are you going to spend the rest of the year? Oh, um, you know, just be with my family, be with my lady, um, see my parents, um, you know, all the efforts still go to me, you know, still trying to see my son who's still, you know, alienated out of my life. So that's still an uphill battle. So still, still got that going as well. And going into 2024, how would a win on Saturday night kind of propel you for 2024? You know, I think it pushes me closer to a title fight, you know. So um, I think I bring something, you know, something exciting to the division, you know, a different style, a different meaning to it. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm blessed to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Fighting two Chinese fighters back to back, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they like the first one. <laughs> so they give me a second one. Um, yeah, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> um, now that you've had some time to, like, digest, like, how important was that win over Alatang in October? Like, you know, coming off your – it wasn't your first UFC loss, but it was your first win in a, in a while, and I know that one kind of stung stung you. So how nice was it to get back in the win column? Of course, you know, especially where in a sport where you're judged by your last fight, you know. You can win – you know, it's not like soccer where you have, you know – 100 plus games a season and you lose 10 and they don't, you know, they don't care. They almost forgot. In fighting, you can win 10 fights and you lose one and, you know, you suck and you should just give up and, you know, the world hates you and, you know, has an opinion on you. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it feels good to get back in the win column, you know, of course. Um, you know, reality is your job's always on the line. So you got to win. Did you feel that backlash from the fans, from your fellow fighters that, um, you know, you're out on this win streak and then you get this big step up, you lose, then everyone just forgets about your win streak that you were just on? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and say that, no. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of, I got a lot of shit talked to me <laughs> online, you know, because of that. But, you know, I didn't pay attention to it. You know, I went, uh, I had to refocus and uh, change some things up and, you uh, you know, and, and I believe I was able to do that and showcase that in my last fight. Obviously, um, you know, there are arguments that you have the best light kicks in the UFC. Are those going to be one of your biggest weapons this, this Saturday to slow Song down, slow his power down, slow his movement down? Yeah, of course. You know, if he leaves his leg out there, I'll take it. Uh, you know, reality is he's going to try to he's going to try to uh, punch a hole through my face. and I'm going to try to kick a hole through his face. So that's that's the reality. You know, we. Two good, two good strikers, you know, meeting and uh, two different styles clashing. It's a, I don't know. To me, I, I look at it as it's a beautiful thing. And, you know, it's been a, you know, 
nice few weeks for Factory X. You know, last week Cody got a big win that he really needed. Your your next seven man event, Brandon next week. Um, just how does it feel, you know, rep representing Factory X and just having the kind of high that you guys are on right now? It, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, you know. Uh, I was saying it earlier. It's uh, it's it's nice to be around people that you can see doing well in their personal life and then changing their lives in, in their career, you know. So I've been able to I've been able to watch, you know, two of my teammates, Jonathan Yusuf, you know, change their lives and, and, and do great things and you know, to watch Cody go, you know, his last, you know, fight and then to go and, and slam someone and, and get a bonus and then, you know, kind of re you know, kind of rewrite that wrong and you know, just see him better, better, bettering his life, uh, you know, physically, financially, and spiritually, and all. You know, I just think it's it's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing to watch. You know, we're watching ourselves change our lives, and you know, every day. And then finally, got to I asked you in October. I'm sure your hasn't changed, but Brandon Royval is he bringing back the title to Factory X? Yeah, yeah, it's not changing. Yeah, we, Colorado's gonna have a new flyweight champion. Awesome, thanks, Chris. How is it different headlining a, a UFC card as opposed to in the past when you headline like LFA? How has this week been different? It, maybe just in terms of how you deal with this event and where you are in your career to where it was back then. Um, can you repeat it? This event, obviously headlining first time in the UFC, big, big major thing, but you've been there before. You've headlined at events before. How is it different, the feel, going into this fight week as opposed to maybe it was back in LFA when maybe it was like some of the first times when you're going up for a headline main event? You know, the, the UFC is, is the biggest promotion, is the, you know, the best fighters in the world. So, um, you know, it's like, you know, being in like the World Cup or like the NFL, you know, you, you, you finally make it and now you're, you're fighting for a, a chance to, you know, play in the finals. And, you know, that's how I look at it. And so, um, it's not different, but it is, you know, I, it's just my first main event in the UFC. So it's uncharted, you know, territory for me. And it, it's almost a scary feeling in a way, you know, and I'm okay with admitting that, but you know, I'm, I'm not here. Um, I'm not here by luck. I'm not here because I was given, you know, chance after chance, you know, I've, I literally fought and clawed my way to be where I'm at. And so, uh, I can rest on that. You know, I've, I've, I don't cheat my way, you know. I don't. I don't take shortcuts, and so uh, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. You know, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't said that in a while, but um, I'm happy. At what point at fight night do does not the scaredness? Because I know none of you guys are scared. But what at what point in like does do, do the jitters go away? What time does the nervousness go away? At what point? Who says they're not scared? Man, that's the biggest bullshit. People are. <laughs> maybe, you know what? Maybe I can't speak for everybody, but uh, you know, I'm scared shitless. It's just the reality, right? You're, you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable position. You're going out there to fight, you know, half naked in front of millions of people. And the world is just, unfortunately, we live in a world where people are just waiting for your downfall, you know, and everyone's got an opinion of you. So, you know, we're, we're putting ourselves in a, in a very vulnerable position. Uh, so to say you're not afraid, it's, I think that's almost you, like, trying to mask something. No, accept it, you know. Um, I think the difference is, um, I know who I am as a person. I know where I come from. Um, I know the task at hand, and I know what I'm, I'm here to do. You know, and I know the I know the goal I'm after. I, I know where I where I where I want where I want to be in life. And you know, this is just another another opportunity to get there. You know, it's it's a tough task, um, but it's a tough one for him too. Just to, to go off of that, what is the goal in life? Where is that dream? Where is that that end point where you see yourself that you're that you're working doing all this hard work for? What is that point? Just, you know, striving to be a better, a, a better man, you know. I just, you know, being a better man, doing better things, you know, just not giving in to all the bullshit and just, you know, trying to change a, a generational curse, you know. That's, you know, that's, that's, that's for me. That's where I see myself is I just, you know, I want to have my faith better with God, you know. Uh, my relationship better with my parents, my brothers, my lady, my friends, my coaches, you know, always striving just to be a better person for for myself so I can be a better person for the people that need me. That's awesome. When you look on paper, you got a lot of TKO finishes. You got a lot of KO finishes. He's got a lot of KO finishes. He's got a lot of TKO. Is there any possibility this fight gets to the ground? And should it happen, who's got the better skill set on the ground? I guess we'll have to see, right? 
I mean, that's, that's yeah, I mean, we're, uh, we both like to, um, we both like to strike, we both like to stand, um, you know, but I'm a mixed martial artist at the end of the day. Um, if we have to go to the mat, so be it, you know. It's not like I'm a stranger down there. Sure. Um, it, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to, uh, you know, to test our skills out in, in all aspects. So that's why I said I, um, sport's very beautiful because you learn, you learn about, a lot about yourself, you know, after every camp, after every fight. So, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to see what, uh, what, it, what, what transpires in the fight. Last thing for me, I'm sure you visualized the, the end to this fight, but what are, the, what are the keys to the victory for you? What needs to happen on Saturday to make sure that you get your arms raised? Uh, stay focused, uh, stay present, um, and just be, uh, be where my feet are at all times, you know? Um, and, um, you know, and, and, and have the courage that I need uh, when the time is right, so. I, I love that phrase, be where the feet are. Can you kind of elaborate on that? Is it just about staying in the present, staying in the moment, not getting out of your head? Or, you know, elaborate on that for me. Yeah, just, uh, you know, being in tune where, where you are, being focused, being 100% where you're at. You know, I think, like I said, I, I've seen, to be where I'm at, man, I'm, I'm so blessed to be here. Because, like I said, many dream, but it, it never, many will never get, get this opportunity. And so I've seen people come and go, and you know, and, and, so I, I, I don't take it for granted. So that's why I'm, I'm all in, I'm, I'm present, and uh, I'm excited, I'm excited. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Chris, right here. Um, obviously talking about fear, emotions, everything pulling at your mind. Um, on Instagram you had posted something about controlling your mind over your emotions. With everything, uh, with all that being said, how do you fortify your mind considering this being your biggest opportunity yet? Say that last part again. How have you fortified your mind through this process, considering this is possibly your biggest opportunity yet in the UFC? Yeah, you know, in, in a way, this is the biggest fight of my career, but at the same time, it's not. Um, I, I truly believe the, the daily battles, you know, that I win on the daily helped me get to where I'm at. So, you know, I, that's just what it is, you know. Um, I, I think the daily battles that I, I battle daily, um, those small moments help propel me and get me to where I need to be. So in, in a sense, this is, a t this is an important fight, but not as important as the ones that I, I deal with on the daily, you know. 100%, and not everybody acknowledges it, and there's not necessarily one key moment, but sometimes there are for some people. You talk a bit about of those little moments that add up. Do you care to share what are some of those things that constantly are in your mind but help you prevail and keep going forward? Yeah. Um, yeah, I always, I always think of the situation with, like, my son, you know. Uh, that's obviously a, a really big, you know, thing in my life that, you know, my, my son is alienated from me, you know. He lives an hour away, and I have no ties to him. So I can I can go off I can go two ways I can go off the deep end, and 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 you know and be that. You know and go down that route you know and that's a, it's a route I don't I choose not to go because I you know I've. I've been almost to the point of no return, and so I. You know I I, I don't want to self destruct no more I, I want to you know and send self manifest so. With obviously that stuff always lingering on me you know. All the temptations, all the the bad thoughts that come over, you know, I try to daily, you know, fight those and and, and fight for the good, and and you know, and try to give try to give peace where it needs to be, and uh, you know, forgiveness where it needs to be forgiven. And last thing for me, looking at that hope that you have in your faith, and looking at this fight going forward, what excites you most about the opportunity? I think the message that I'm that that I'm sending in, on this platform is beautiful. Um, to all the little kids growing up in the inner city, to, you know, to all the younger generation, you know, coming up from a rough upbringing, um, you know, with, with discipline and hard work, you can, you can reach your dreams, you know. And you can go from, you know, it's, you're, in a sense, you know, you're the author of your book, you know, so. Be the hero of your own story, and uh, I think that's the uh, you know the message that I want to send is that um, 
I got tired of waiting for a hero to show up, so I decided to be my own hero. Awesome. Thank you. Good luck Saturday. Thank you.